Hello YouTube, we have the 97 Toyota Tacoma rear wheel drive, 3.4 liter. As you can see, we're doing the engine mounts today. We went ahead and got started on the driver's side, took off the wheel to get better access. Here is going to be the mount. It goes straight to the engine. And then this piece here is what we're gonna be replacing. So we take off the one bolt on top. There's a bolt on the side, a bolt on the side over here. And then again, a bolt over here and a bolt over here. We're gonna leave loose, but not take the bolts off. And we're gonna also put a stand underneath the engine with a block of wood so we don't ruin anything and then keep it up supported so the engine doesn't drop down while you're taking this all off and it's easier to get access to. And then once we do that, we're gonna also remove the oil filter. So we're gonna take drain the oil in the car because there is a bolt back there that is a bitch to get to. So once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and take all this off now that we have it loose and we'll go pick up from there. So here we have the bolts pulled off. The bolt over here, that's gonna be underneath this hose. It was a little bit more difficult to get out, so definitely do your best. We didn't know what kind of hose goes to here. It's probably coolant, could be oil. I'm assuming coolant, but I don't wanna take that off and I definitely don't wanna damage it. So definitely be careful while you're taking this bolt out so you don't cause any more problems than you need to do. Now we have the engine supported from underneath with the block of wood so we're not damaging the oil pan. And then from here, we're gonna jack it up just a little bit so we're able to slide this right out. And it should come right out. Again, do be careful of the hoses and everything we have right here. And it comes out just like that. And then we're gonna pick it up once we get it pulled out. Now we have the brackets with the motor mount pulled off. Well, all we're gonna do is unbolt it from there, remove the old motor mount, and replace it with the new one. And then we're gonna put it back in exactly the same way. So with the motor mount removed, we're gonna take this off. Always remember how you take things apart. So we have the motor mount here, bracket, we're gonna have this part that stays up like this, and then the new motor mount is gonna be right here. As you can see, it's not too terrible. It's definitely starting to rip from the top though. Yeah. Yeah, from the looks of it, it looks pretty worn out, pretty dry rotted and everything, so this will be a good change. Now from there, we're going to take this off and just do a complete replacement of everything now. Make sure you take off the washer and then put it together like so. There's gonna be a little notch right here that comes up, matches through. That's on there. Put that back on there and just go ahead. We're gonna use the new bolt though. We don't wanna use the old stuff. And let's go ahead and put it together. And then from there, we're gonna reposition this all together and then get it back on. But before we tighten the bolt down, what we always do is we never tighten everything down completely just in case if there's something we need to adjust. Like this, for instance, that notch that sticks up is gonna go through this hole that's right there. So we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna turn it a little bit until it goes over that notch. Which it should like that. And then from there, we're gonna tighten it all down and reposition it. So we went ahead and bought a piece. It didn't look like the one I ordered off the internet was exactly right. So we went to the local AutoZone, got it here. It looks like it fits the same exact way. The old one, it went on to here, but for some reason they make one that goes over here as well. All we had to do was put this on 
Um, the only adjustment that I made personally, because this is my vehicle, you can do this on your own accord if you like, or you can try and find OM parts or whatever it is. This right here, I just made a little notch with the grinder. That way it wasn't sitting up at an elevation like this and not sitting flush. So now it sits like this and it goes on perfectly. I did that because I was running into the problem where this new part was doing this. Because that notch wasn't lining up with this hole. And I went to AutoZone and found out that no matter what part I buy, it's always like this. So I just, again, when made this notch with the grinder, that way it lines up perfectly. And now we are ready to bolt it back down and put it inside of the vehicle. Do this at your own discretion. I went ahead and did it because it is my own personal vehicle and I am okay with it. So I went ahead and slid it in. The easiest way to do it is you take the bracket side with the uh, two bottom bolt ends, you slide it through the bottom here and then kind of make it to where this thing slides up to the front. After you get the engine lifted up a little bit more, it slides in real easily. We're going to do the top bracket bolt here, side bracket bolts here, and the one over here. And then we're going to put the one right here and the one right here back on over on this side. And then we went ahead and tightened this all down as tight as we could. And then that way this can go back on the bracket up here. And that will be the left side or driver's side of your motor mount. And now we are starting on the passenger side or right side of the vehicle over here. As you can see, the bracket on this side is going to be here. We have the motor mount we're replacing here. Two bolts that are coming off. We have a bolt here. I'm sorry, a bolt there, a bolt there, a bolt here, and a bolt here. And that's going to help remove the bracket off of here. And then from there, we can just take this off, replace this like we did the last one. And that will be the passenger side. So one easy way to get to the top bolt here is remove the heat shield that goes on to this, this part here. So there's some bolts here, some small bolts, about 10 millimeters, and then it makes getting to that bolt so much easier so we can torque it down all to spec. So now that we got that off, we're gonna remove that. We're gonna loosen up these two bolts here. And then after we do that, we're gonna make sure we put a support stand underneath the engine so when we take this apart like loosen everything the engine doesn't slide or drop or do anything and then we can lift the engine up just a little bit so we're able to get everything else in as well so we'll get that started and we'll come back and then from here i went ahead and got a screwdriver and it helped me wedge the bracket away from the condenser pump and then the same way when I was putting the bracket back in, I used the starter as a point to wedge it back into position. And then lastly, we have the transmission mount we need to do. All it's going to be is one, two, three, and four bolts from the bottom. You're gonna remove those four. That way you can put your jack stand with a block of wood right here underneath is a good point of contact once you get these ones loosened up your next ones to do are those two bolts here so you got that bolt and that bolt and you got another two on the other side as well that you're going to loosen up but always loosen your bolts but never remove them until you're ready to take everything off at once that way if something tips something falls you never have to worry about something tumbling down or anything. It's always secured by a loose bolt. So we're gonna go ahead, jack this up, loosen this up, take these bolts off, pushing this up high enough to where this can slide up out of here and then we can put the new transmission mount securely onto here and bolt it back down and that will be the transmission mount. And once we do that, that'll be both the front, left, and right side motor mount, as well as the transmission mount on a 3.4 liter Toyota Tacoma. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, please like it and follow my page for more videos on different cars and more on these ones. Thank you.